Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday. This feels really weird, me being on Monday now. I'm just gonna try to get used to it and I hope you guys will all be along for the ride of getting used to it as well. I'm actually gonna have to kind of rush this a little bit because I have to be at a study session for my geology midterm. This is our vlog week and um, I'm kind of starting to run out of things to say. I was wondering if maybe we could do like viewer questions or something like that during our vlog weeks if you're up for that and also, this is kind of a question to the subscribers. Would they be interested in sending in questions? Like, they can be anything. Like, you could want to know something about us personally that hasn't been answered on one of our previous videos, especially Kirsten, because she hasn't been around as long. So, rejects, this is something for you to, like, kind of look at and, you know, toss the idea around a little bit. And, you know, subscribers, this is, you know, a question for you to answer. Would you be interested? Would you send in questions? Anyway, I am just going to talk about my week or what I have planned for this week, which as you can tell, uh, you probably can't see any of this stuff, but I have a lot. If I don't write things down, I get really lost and I get stressed out already as it is. So on top of that, now that I'm thinking about my list, I have to clean the apartment, start laundry, do the dishes, and vacuum definitely need to vacuum and I definitely need to clean off the tables because they are disgusting. It's not my fault either. My roommate's fault. I was talking to Serge the other day about it and he asked me on Twitter what I had found that made me almost throw up last time I cleaned the room. Well, I don't even want to go into it, but it looked like um, my roommate like popped a loogie on to a plate. It's just nasty. I just cleaned this last weekend, the whole apartment, and I'm gonna have to clean it again because my dad's coming to town. And I told him that my dad was coming to town. Mm -hmm. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Anything. So I think it's just like a straight guy thing. Like they're just messy pigs. Saturday, there's gonna be a party that I got invited to, and I'm pretty excited about going because, um, this party is going to have a bunch of cute gay guys there. And there's one in particular, again, Serge is the only one who has these conversations with me. So you other guys, you need to start, all of you, Kirsten, I know you're new, and Alejandro, you don't do anything. I send you drunken, you know, voicemails, and you don't even care. You don't even care to answer your phone, first of all, but you never send me anything. And Sergio, I kind of talked to you a little bit, but mostly to Serge. So Serge is going to know all of this, and you guys are just going to be completely lost. But anyway, there's this really cute guy that I'm interested in, and I've kind of talked to, you know, once or twice. Suffice it to say, since summer, I haven't really kept in contact with him because he doesn't go to OU. Um, he goes like, oh my god, phone, shut up. That was actually Twitter, and I bet you a million dollars it was from Sergio. Let's see. Yes, it is. It's from Sergio. I am so right. I knew it was you. I was right. And I bet you in like ten, like five seconds or so, I'm gonna get um, a Twitter, a tweet from Jasmine, and then another one from Sergio, and then another one from Jasmine, and then another one, and then it's just gonna go back and forth for about thirty minutes. I swear it'll happen. Okay, so I'm going to this party for the OU Texas weekend. I really don't know how to proceed with. Because last time I was in a drunken stupor, anyway, like I always am apparently on the weekends now. Yeah, it's just I don't I don't want to be the painfully awkward guy because I am painfully awkward like 24/7 anyway. I wake up in the morning and that is just the way my day starts. Any advice that you guys could give me on what I should do, then that would be great. Okay, haunted house. He and Ashley and a couple of her friends went to a haunted house last night. It was pretty, it was fun, it was okay. It was not as scary as some of the other ones that I've been into, but whenever I say it's not as scary as some of the other ones I've been into, most people don't understand. It's not that I wasn't scared because I was petrified. Um, it's just I have been to the point where 
I cowered in a corner for five minutes before because I was so scared. This one, I was able to, you know, kind of walk through the whole thing. At the very end of it, like most haunted houses have, there are usually always somebody with a chainsaw in there. And chainsaws freak me the fuck out. It's all having to do with Resident Evil and the fact that I have played it too many times. I've seen like so many zombie movies lately and seriously zombies and chainsaws that's that's the new thing to add to add that to like to my last video from last week um chainsaws is another good thing to add especially like zombies with chainsaws then it gets really creepy or zombie werewolves with chainsaws that is like the trifecta like that is the mo that would be the most terrifying thing ever okay I'm done. I will see you guys next week. Now I have to go edit this and get back to campus before 6 o'clock. Bye!